Hello everyone. Now I want to review how we solve systems where a parameter will appear. Uh, when we solve a system, we follow certain steps. We write the matrix corresponding to the system, and the matrix is um, augmented if uh, you have a non homogeneous system with numbers on the right side of. Uh, the equalities, non-zero numbers. If you have only zeros uh, on the right side, uh, you don't write them. It's a regular matrix, not augmented. The one on the picture here is uh, augmented. Now, once we write the matrix, we start reducing it, and we reduce it until we get to the so-called reduced row reduced echelon form. Row reduced echelon form. And uh, now I want to give exact definition of what is row reduced echelon form. Here is uh, one example on this picture. Uh, the numbers, uh, this entry is one, 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 this uh, which I surrounded. Th these are called pivots. And uh, a pivot is. Uh, one number one which stands in a certain position uh, like we need to have a pivot on the top left corner and the definition now is this every row starts with a pivot of zero so it's fulfilled here every row starts with pivot of zero above, above and below every pivot we have only zeros so we don't if we don't have a zero above or below some pivot we Use this pivot to make zero above or below. Multiply by appropriate number and add to, to make zero. Going down, first row, second row, third row, every pivot that uh, comes next is to the right of the previous. So you see in the second row, the pivot is to the right of the first row pivot. On the third row, uh, it's uh, to the right of the second. On the fourth row, we don't have a pivot. Uh, rows with only zeros should be last. Here in this matrix, th there is some, uh, there is a row of zeros, and the, the fourth row is only of zeros. So in the process of reduction, uh, all the numbers here, all the entries were eliminated, and we have this. So we come uh, after reducing the system. We come to this. Uh, it's very important to remember well the definition of reduced echelon form. And every time when you solve a system, you have to bring it to this. After that, the next step is going back to the system. Uh, I shall write a system that corresponds to this matrix. Uh, it will be x1. There are three empty positions. We have uh, first column is for x1, second is for x2, then x3, then x4, then x5. So x1 space 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 plus 3 times x5 equals 5. Then we have x2 plus x3 empty space plus 6x5 equals 0. Then we have three empty spaces. Here is x4 plus 2x5 equals negative 1. And that's it. This is our system. Uh, we have uh, five unknowns and three equations. Uh, every unknown, every of these axes, if there are no equations, it, it can move freely from minus to plus infinity, so that it presents one degree of freedom. So we have five degrees of freedom and three restrictions. Every equation brings the restriction. So we're left with two degrees of freedom. There'll be two parameters. And we use uh, letters like T, S, R for parameters. So let's say 
uh, S and T and S will be our parameters. Uh, so some of these variables, some of these axes have to be taken as parameters. They will change freely and the others will be expressed in terms of the parameters. We usually start uh, with the largest index. Here we take x5 for parameter. So this will be, let's say, t. Uh, sorry, I had to make a correction here, going uh, to this uh, position. This is x4, not x2. OK, <clears throat> now x5 is t. x4, x4 cannot be a parameter because x4 will be written in terms of t. Uh, if you solve for x4, it will be negative 2t minus 1. So we skip uh, x4, and then we go to x3. x3 will be our next parameter. We don't need any more. These are uh, two parameters that will help to express the solution of this system in parametric form. So now we solve for x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5 in terms of the parameters. We write the solution in parametric form. Uh, from the first equation, we have x1 equals 5 minus 3x, uh, x5, so this will be minus 3t. From the second equation, x2 will be, uh, you see, there will be negative 6t, so I shall put this in the second position, negative 6t, uh, I want to organize a column with t. And also minus x3, which is s, minus s. So the third column will be for s. The second is for t, and the, on the first column we put these numbers, like 5, 0, negative 1. Uh, 0 we don't have to write. Now x3. x3, this is s. It's defined to be s. x4, solving for x4. Uh, from the third equation, this will be negative 1 minus 2t. And uh, last comes x5, which is t. This belongs to the second column. So you see here, in the standard, how we write the solution in parametric form. So it's important to organize them in such columns. For each parameter, separate column. And if you have numbers like here, like 5, 0, negative 1, they go to the first column. Now, using this uh, parametric representation, we write vector form of the solution. We shall write the vectors in vertical form, like a matrix consisting of only one column. And I have a solution vector so the, these solutions we organize in a vector which I'm writing x bar to show that it's a vector and this will be a matrix like that x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 let's make here better bracket. So this is my solution vector. Now from the parametric form of the system, I can see that the first column after the axis with the numbers will be one constant vector. This is uh, 5, 0, 0, negative 1, 0. This is such a vector. And then we have a vector consisting of all the coefficients with t will be negative 3, negative 6, we have uh, 0, negative 2, 1. This vector is multiplied by t. And then we collect all the coefficients in front of s. will be 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 0. This comes with s. Uh, we can name these vectors, like this constant vector 
this vector without uh, parameters we can call x sub 0 then uh, the vector with t we can call let's say u and the vector with s we can call v and then uh, our solution can be written in a very short form x sub 0 plus u times t plus v times s vector form of the solution and we can even tell uh, what is the geometric nature of this solution we have combinations of uh, two vectors u and v arbitrary combinations with two parameters plus a numerical vector this is a plane two-dimensional plane 2d plane in five dimensions five dimensions because we have five coordinates for the solution vector in 5d let's make a better five here This is the geometric nature of the solution. Now I want to solve from the beginning one simple system and repeat this process. Uh, another example, solve the system x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 minus 5x4 naturally space because there is another one equals zero another equation x2 plus 4x3 plus x4 and minus x5 equals zero and one other equation x3 plus x4 equals zero so x5 participates only the second equation this shows that we have five unknowns and the solution vector will have will have five coordinates now the first step is to write the matrix for this system it's a homogeneous system it will be just a regular matrix one negative two one negative five zero coefficient in front of x5 in the first row and that's it then we have zero one four one negative one two zeros one four zero it's a very simple matrix we have convenient pivots first column is practically reduced now we will reduce the second column using uh, this very convenient pivot and here is another pivot i shall just mark the three pivots that we have here and uh, now i shall do this uh, multiply the second by two add to the first so in such small circles i'm putting numbers the the, the rows two times second row plus first row just this operation for the moment and here i'm writing the result one stays the same in this position zero two times second make uh, eight plus one nine uh, two and negative five will be negative three and uh, negative two second is not changed And third is not changed. Okay, now look at the second column. It's also reduced. There is a pivot, and above and below, no other, uh, no zero numbers. So move, we move to the third column, and here we have th this good pivot in third position. Uh, here again, let me sh let me show this pivot, and then we multiply, we make zeros above it. We multiply the third by negative nine, negative nine third, adding to the first, and negative four third, adding to the second. We make zeros above the pivot. So what will be the next stage? 
one zero zero now in third position in the first row the third is multiplied by negative nine so i have negative 36 negative 39 uh, negative to no change here then we have zero one zero negative four negative 16 negative 15 here and again no change in this place zero zero one four zero well what you see here is the row reduced echelon four uh, Every row starts with a pivot of zero. Above and below pivots only zeros. Uh, every other pivot going down is to the right of the previous. And if we have only zeros, they should be the last place, but we don't have such now. So we have these three pivots. Let me mark them again. And you see above and below only zeros, and they satisfy the conditions for radius station form. Uh, every time when you solve a system, I want to repeat, you have to write first the row reduced threshold form and then go back to the system, introduce parameters and so forth. All these rules are uh, written uh, in, in the following notes. And please uh, remember them well, learn them and remember them well. Now we go back to the system. The system that corresponds now to this matrix will be x1, two empty spaces, minus 39 x4, uh, minus 2 x5 equals 0. Because it's a homogeneous system, we remember on the right side there are only zeros. Second line will be 0 x2 here, space, minus 15 x4 minus x5 equals 0 and the last row will be last equation will be x3 i'm sorry uh, this is x3 in a different position x3 plus 4x4 plus 0 equals 0 this is our system now, which we have to solve. Again, we have three equations with five variables. There, there will be two parameters, and one of them will be x5, let's call it t, and another parameter, x4. x4 will be a good parameter here. It's not dependent on x5. So these are two parameters. which are changing s and t, changing from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity freely, and all the other x's depend on these uh, two parameters. Now solving for, for x1, x2, x3, and so forth, we have a solution in parametric form. Solution parametric form x1 will be 39s starting with this plus 2 times t x1 is t x2 will be 15s plus t x3 will be uh, just negative just the negative uh, x3 will be negative 4s x4 is s this is all in the first column and x5 i have no space so x5 i'll read separately here x5 is no, it should be here. Uh, look, I am going to erase everything here and write it again, trying to uh, put everything 
in one place uh, because we have to put them together in order to write the vector form starting from the beginning with smaller letters okay so x1 is 39 s plus 2t x2 15s plus t x3 is negative 4s x4 is s and x5 is t uh, the second column that's where is t this is the solution in parametric form now the solution in vector form Again, I have a solution vector with five uh, components, five coordinates. X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. And now I collect the corpus in front of S. 39, 15, negative 4, 1, 0. This vector goes with S, and same way a vector with T. That will be 2, 1, 2, zeros, 1. The vector goes with T. Uh, so on the left side, we have the solution vector X bar, and these two I can call U and V, these two vectors. So the vector from the solution is uh, this uh, short equation u times s plus v times t s and t are two parameters uh, from minus to plus infinity and we have all combinations of two vectors this is uh, again 2d plane in uh, 5d and this plane goes through the origin in the five dimension um, when all, all axes are zero this is a solution so we have a solution when s and t are zeros, we have the zero vector. I shall write here the zero vector in 5D vector with five components. The zero vector in out of it power, which is, we also call 5D. So this is a solution to our system when all x is zeros. x1 equals zero, x2 equals zero, equals zero, so equals zero, x5 equals zero. That's a solution. So you can look at the system, the original system, when all x is zeros, we have a solution. For every homogeneous system, this is true. Uh, every homogeneous system has zero solution. Now, <laughs> I want to stop here and please read all the notes and uh, homework is given in the notes with examples and uh, everybody should uh, learn well how to solve systems following the steps which I want to repeat given the system first you write the matrix for the system uh, augment or not then you reduce it to row reduced echelon form by following the standard operations you can multiply row by number into another row. We can swap two rows. Uh, and uh, you bring the system to row reduced echelon form, the, the matrix to row reduced, row reduced echelon form. And then uh, you go back to the system, introduce parameters if necessary. Uh, parameters are needed when you have more uh, unknowns than equations, more variables than equations. And uh, after you write the solution in parametric form, where you have to describe all the axes, x1, x2, x3, so forth, in a special way. Parameters will have columns for themselves. Then we write the solution in vector form, and then we give geometric interpretation of the solution. Okay, goodbye.